Hello guys, it's Chocolate King back here once again. It's time to the video. Will speed of sound Sonic ever be a threat to say time? Now what let's say this. Back when me and my uh, ex-friend Khalid used to talk about One Punch Man, there was always a subject of conversation. And that subject was, who is the most feminine masculine, uh, the most feminine man character throughout the series? And it came down to two. He used to think it was Flashy Flash. I don't know why, but he always thought Flashy Flash looked more like a woman than other characters. And I'm like, wait, what? What, what? Flashy Flash may have some odd looking hips. That's all you got. The Speed of Sound Sonic is definitively the most feminine looking man character you ever see. One moment he's looking like a savage beast, and the next moment he's looking like a woman. And it's just, it's not even just him in that skin tight suit either. It's him just in general, like in that prisoner outfit. What is that? What type of hips are those? But, uh, <laughs> but, uh,. Uh, back to the main stuff give you here. Will Speed of Sound Sonic ever be a threat to say timely? Cause you've seen that <laughs> out of nowhere. Like like the little Sasuke is <laughs> like the little Sasuke is. Out of nowhere, Speed of Sound Sonic just declares himself. I'm I'm say timely's true rival. I, I, I'm his true rival. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. You, I, I'm, I'm gonna get you back, say Tama. You, you've been punched in the nuts and karate chopped. I don't think, I don't think, yeah, I don't think you got too much of a chance of beating him. Yeah, I don't think, and each time you've been one shotted. Oh, each time. You've been, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is unprofessional. Each time Spinner Sound Sonic has fought Saitama, he has been one shotted easily. And it's funny because, like, Spinner Sound Sonic is an S class uh, criminal, which the criminals of One Punch Man don't really get too much, they don't get touched down too much, which is to a certain degree is reasonable since monsters are the biggest, bigger issue. But I, I can see how some people want to get that a little bit more fleshed out. I can see how. What? The yeah, Speed of Sound Sonic is an S class criminal, and it's just, uh. It's not like. The Speed of Sound Sonic is a garbage character. Sure, he may not be as fast as Flashy Flash or Hellfire and Gale, but, but, he, but he's a pretty fast, at least the fourth fastest character in the series, and he's improving. After having an explosive diarrhea on the toilet. On the uh, toilet! <laughs> on the. <laughs> on the toilet, because he's the only person who will think, you know what? I've been given some monster shells. I think the best thing to do is to fry and cook this thing up on the grill and just have myself a nice old meal. I don't think they told you to cook it, Sonic. I'm just gonna eat it like this. And it's just like, he just, just couldn't just eat it like everybody else. He gotta get a scarf and he gotta get a napkin and everything just to eat some monster shells. Just eat the damn things. You don't have to fry it up like you're a five like it's a five course meal. You're not Chef Gordon. But he did it anyway, and it's just arguably you could say it's 50 50. You could say it's 50 50 if Speed of Sound Sonic is a monster or not. And the reason is he still consumed it, but I don't know if it's 100% confirmed if him cooking it just negated all the effects or just 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 made him slightly a monster, not 100% or just ugh, it more than likely didn't work. But hey, after losing, after losing eight pounds in body weight. Now at least 10 pounds in body weight on the toilet. He has become faster. He has. But uh, back to the main subject of the conversation. Overall, but let's be honest here. Speed of Sound Sonic would never, ever, 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 ever beat Saitama ever throughout the entire series. It, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. It, it, it is what it is. It is quite sick. I like Speed of Sound Sonic. He's, he's next to the character, but he has zero chance. Even like if he gets better, even if like he gets to the level of flashy flash, that would still be too slow. And then just like I'd rather see him fight Genos again, because that rivalry is, is something. Because Genos, apparently, he just has beef with everybody. Whether it's Speed of Sound Sonic, and hope he don't become a disciple, or it's Fubuki, and it's just and that whole Blizzard group. G Genos is it? Jijin is a beast, man. <laughs> he just, he's willing to incinerate somebody over the, the smallest of things. What did Wookie do to deserve to get this, this get potentially incinerated? What has she done? Gino's, Gino's a mad man. But I'd rather see him go against, <laughs> go, against <laughs> go against Flashy Flash or Gino's or something. Because we, we, we say Tama, we, we, we good old say even Gino's when his final upgrade. I guess Sonic would be an excellent fight. 
Especially after the whole the stuff that happens to go down in the web comic, which could make Billy Sound Sonic even stronger than what he we last seen him. So Sonic literally has no chance to ever beat Satan. Now there is a chance. The reason I make the video is there could be a case where Sonic could train so much. He could push himself so much to the limit. He end up breaking his limit like Saitama. Now that is a possibility. But there's like two problems with that. Well, problem number one, if you do it like Saitama, he will go bald. I don't think anybody would enjoy a bald speed of sound Sonic, but it would be hilarious to see that shine. <laughs> that blind <laughs> that blinding light <laughs> shining in the sun. That would be funny. That would be funny. But uh And two the second problem with that would be uh if you'll be able to do it without turning into a monster. And that's the thing, the monsterization process in One Punch Man, I can't really say it's random, but there are some key things to look out for. Like excessive training, like your Super Alloy Dark Shine, and you end up a monster that way. Or, in the opposite case, you end up like Metal Bat or Bang, where you just become superhuman and that's it. So, potentially, Speed of Sound Sonic become the fastest character in the entire world. And he just break his limiter, and he just ends up with a normal human being, with his scalp still intact. That is a possibility. Because it's not impossible, we've seen it before with other characters. With other characters training a lot and becoming a top of the- Seriously, Silver Fang, a 70 year old man, is top three in the hero association. T top three! He's top three! That, 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 a 70 year old man! Even now, in the w in manga, he's finally one of the strongest characters in the entire series. An old man. And he's not a monster. That's just pure skill. Similar to how, like, Atomic Samurai. Well, he's like, rank 4? Man's a beast! So there are levels of human ascension that doesn't involve a person turning into a monster. But Dr. Gina said it does have something to do with some negative emotions with it. Or an inferiority complex. Or just wearing... A costume for way too long. Way too long. Oh. Which I'd love to see that Black Spram backstory. I'd love to see that. But uh, until then, who knows how things might go down. Until then. But uh, yeah, there is a good chance that Sonic could get close to say Thomas level. Just in pure speed. Just in pure speed, so he could actually get close. But would he ever beat say Thomas? No. He, he would he, he, So I'd say, oh, he'd be the Goku and Vegeta relationship. No. Because Vegeta has surpassed Goku multiple times. Multiple. And it's just the fact that it just didn't last long. It didn't last long at all. Like with Super Vegeta. Or Majin. Actually, no. Majin was stronger than Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan. T <laughs> it was stronger than Super Saiyan 2, Goku. But overall, Goku could still stand Super Saiyan 3 and won the fight. Which is a big misconception. With the whole, oh, Vegeta didn't fight nobody, this and that. Oh, he, he, Goku could have beat him. If Vegeta was strong in the Super Saiyan 2, but Goku, I say that. Or the same, it's equal or, like if Goku was a 93, Vegeta would be like a 95. Yeah, in Super Saiyan 2. Now, Super Saiyan 3, of course, that fight would have ended. But Super Saiyan 2, man, nah, Goku is doing his best he can in that transformation. So, just, yeah. But, uh, overall, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. But I don't, I don't, I don't never see Sonic actually legitimately beating Saitama. It, it, it's just, it's just, it's just not gonna happen. It, it's very sad. It's very tragic. But I just don't see it happening. I just, I just don't. It's, it's, it's a very sad concept to accept. But sometimes, Sonic, you can't win them all. And you gotta admit that you're just not good enough. You're just not strong enough. But against other characters like Genos, like Flash to Flash and the rest of the S-Class heroes, That'd be some interesting fights indeed. Can I don't even think we've even seen Speed of Sound Sonic go all out before. Cause like with the Genos fight, that was pretty much stopped. And Saitama interfered and uh... And pretty much uh... <laughs> I don't know what you would call that facial expression. But uh... He pretty much gave him something close to the sensation of the uh... NL effect. Just something so mind-blowing. some unbelievable. Something so bombastic yet... It is inconceivable. It's impossible to, to, to properly process. It's, it's something no, so mind-blowing. It freezes the human body in place. And it causes an instant meltdown. And for an instant malfunctioning. I don't know how is it possible. I've never... No, I, I've actually experienced this. With the whole recent thing going on with... Uh, our boy... CWC. And it was just... Hearing some of that stuff, it was just like... My brain 
actually shut down and I couldn't process what he was actually saying and you talk to my friend Jordan he'd be like like over the phone I was just laughing like a madman I was thinking about saying something and I just start laughing it was just go blank it was just it's it's, it's I, I can't explain it it's one of those things that is just like it's I can't process the feeling but it's just it's like your brain shuts down it's just your brain can't properly process what you just saw or heard yet. That's the only way I can explain it. Ugh, I have too much fun making these videos. But overall, with Speed of Sound Sonic ever be a threat to say Tama? No. I don't think there's any serious chance of him ever beating say Tama. I mean, similar to the relationship between, uh. Similar to the relationship of, uh. Who, who's a perfect example? Who's a perfect example? Uh, who, I can, who can pull out? It's a perfect example. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Who would be a perfect example to point out the conflict between Saitama and Speed of Sound Sonic? Mm. Huh. Well, it's not really hard. I just gotta, I just gotta think of that character. It gotta be one of those characters where to anybody else is it bingo mysterio mysterio is a perfect example and not that they that mcu mysterio it's not the comic mysterio against anybody else like wolverine or anybody else like captain america mysterio would be an actual serious threat he would actually be able to mess somebody day up but against spider-man of course fishbowl hair is always going to catch that beating and like always going to get his fishbowl crack wide open and watch the water and the fish just pour all out it'd be funny if even natural water ended up like that It'd be similar to like Man Ray and Mysterio combined together. It's just a, a it's a fish bowl. And it's like it's like a fish bowl on top of like a man ray suit from SpongeBob. And that'll just be it. And if you poke his suit and the water come out, he'll just flow all over the floor. Ah, oh, damn it, I'm gonna give people characters that deal. Shit. But that would be interesting. Would be interesting. I, I give it that. Uh, it, cause we still don't know what happened to even after water. I don't think it was yeah, he's the only monster that was was never killed. Just in, and I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna spoil nothing. But uh, yeah, it's been a shower king. So overall, I don't see the Speed of Sound Sonic ever truly taken out, beating up say Tamu. But he will be one of the top kids in the universe. Though he's still young. He's only 25, like say Tamu. He, he he's still he's still got a long life to live. He, he's still young. So who knows? But uh, hey, who knows how far he's come, and and who knows who will be able to surpass. And since Hellfire and Gale is alive, and they escape for their life, so it's just maybe say that. Ooh, yeah, that's just some weird comic stuff. It's just yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be going down in One Punch Man, post Monster Association. It will be going down. But uh, until then, until then, sadly, poor Speed of Sound Sonic. Well, it's not some type of upgrade with Sonic. It's, it's nothing like that or anything like that. It's, it's just like an event that happens. It doesn't mean, but uh, but until then, or until the end of the series, poor speed of sound Sonic will we, we, we'll never be able to to, to beat say Tom and Genos. That'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. It, it, it was like a serious fight, but just not to the death. That that'll be an interesting fight. One of the best characters out there. And was before I wrap up this video, this is why I find it hard to even. I find it very hard to even try to rank. Or trying to say who my favorite character in One Punch Man hands. Because there's too many. Because you got Flashy Flash, Super Adler, Dark Shine, Atomic Samurai, Bang, Tatsumaki, Fabuki, Watch Dog Man, Zombie Man, Child Emperor. <laughs> Child Emperor, Speed of Sound Sonic, Hammerhead, Dr. Genus. And Carnage Capito, and you got Garo the Beast. Help me with that demon cyborg, and they will fear me. There's too many good characters to just choose. To say, oh, they're, they're, I think there's only one that's my favorite. It's just, it's, it's, it's too hard. It's it's similar to like Hajime Epoch. I, I, it's hard to have a favorite character when there's so many. There's too many to choose. There's too many good ones. It's just, it's it's, it's, it's mind blowing. But uh, overall. Hope you guys like enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And what do you thought? Do you believe that Speed of Sound Sonic would ever be a serious threat to say Tama, the strongest man in the world? Or do you just believe he would just uh one day surpass say Tama or be on his level? And he'd just be the fastest man in the world. On um, which what, you gonna you're gonna call him Time Breaker Sonic then? <laughs> wow, that's messed up. 
Cause we already, uh, oh yeah, Time Breaker and Sonic would uh, have, have a nice ring to it. That 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 would be some serious speed right there. It was almost like he was never there in the first place. That that'd be a beast. It, it, the Sonic name get changed to Time Breaker Sonic. That would be, be a beast. It'd be a savage team. He's like, oh, I can't. Ah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows how things about time? Let me show you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out the uh, my web comic down below if you uh, want to see some stuff I made for myself. I'm still working on the next part. You know, just just choking up on a few pages. It just uh, but but things are going good. Pushing forward. In between jobs, gotta look for another one. But I didn't shower King enough. Peace.